But first, we begin tonight with a developing story. Thank you so much for joining us this evening at 6. I'm Amber Grigley. Violence in Indianapolis continues to be a major problem as yet another shooting leaves several young people injured late Saturday night. WRTV's Griffin Gonzalez joins us now live downtown in Griffin. It has been very busy for the past few hours for our city. What have you learned so far in the investigation? Yeah, Amber, this is still a work in progress as far as detectives trying to figure out how this all went down last night. But here's what we know right now. Three straight weekends, three mass shootings in the city of Indianapolis. And last night, certainly packing one of the biggest punches as the victims ranged in age from 17 years old all the way down to age 12. What we've learned from IMPD is shortly last night after 11 o'clock, officers in the area heard shots fired. And when they got to this scene right here at the corner of Maryland and Illinois, you'll see there were hundreds, according to some reports of kids hanging out right here outside of the sugar factory. The police arrived and found six victims, teenagers with injuries, and those teens were transported to various hospitals. A seventh victim took themselves to Community South Hospital and all are reportedly in stable condition. At this time, no arrests have been made, but after three straight weekends of mass violence, IMPD is pleading for change. Once again, we have a situation in which young people are resolving conflict with firearms, and it has to stop. I'm extremely disappointed uh, that we're here again talking about uh, mass uh, violence in our city. It's completely unacceptable, especially when it involves uh, our youth. And so we all have to take a collective look in the mirror uh, and find out what more we can do to try to prevent these things from happening in the first place. And once again, still no arrests made on the matter. Investigators are still working on that. But coming up later this evening, we hear from Chief Chris Bailey more to tell us what he's learned about the situation as well as how the community is responding to a third straight weekend of violence in Indianapolis. Griffin Gonzalez, WRTV News. Griffin, thank you for that update. And we now have a response from Mayor Joe Hogshead on last night's shooting. He says a 12 year old has no business being out late at night anywhere without parental or adult supervision, nor should a young person at any age be in possession of a gun. Then he adds, quote, solutions will require all of us to address the ease with which our youth access and turn to firearms to solve their conflicts. Now, the city of Indianapolis is continuing to build on our $150 million violence reduction strategy, including hiring a chief violence prevention officer who will focus exclusively on youth and working to prosecute those who provide firearms to minors, end quote.